on 6A, we have a cake that's removed from a 400 degree oven. So this is the initial temperature. That's going to be our initial temperature, T of 0, is 400, where T of T is the, uh, is the temperature at any time. Okay, and the cake is placed on a windowsill in 50 degree air. This is the temperature of the room, and that's the uh, medium of constant temperature. This is our value for A. A is 50 degrees. Okay, in 15 minutes it is cooled to be 200 degrees. So here, first I guess we should uh, define what time unit we're using, uh, because they give us this time in minutes, we can use minutes. Or if you want to, you can use hours. It's, it's really up to you. I'm going to use minutes, and I know, uh, not A, I know that my time, my temperature after 15 minutes is 200 degrees. Okay, uh, express the temperature of the cake as a function of time. We want to find the temperature of the cake at any time and how long will it take for the cake to cool to 100 degrees. And then we want to find T, time, when the temperature at T time is 100 degrees. Okay, uh, assume Newton's law of cooling applies. Newton's law of cooling says the time rate of change of temperature, capital T, of a body immersed in a medium of constant temperature, so that gives us the rate of change of temperature with respect to time. That's the time rate of change of temperature. Uh, okay, in a body, in a constant temperature, A is proportional to the difference of A minus T. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to do A minus T. And it's proportional to, we're going to multiply this by our constant of proportionality, K. And we get this formula, dt. The rate of change of temperature with respect to time is equal to some uh, constant of proportionality times the difference of the temperature of the surrounding medium minus the temperature of the uh, object at any time. In this case, A is 50. So we get rate of change of temperature with respect to time is equal to K times 50 minus T. Okay, uh, this is linear and it's also separable, so I can solve it either way. If I solve this as a separable ODE, then I'm going to multiply both sides by D small t. That puts time on the right side. And then I'm, I need my temperature on the left side, so I'm going to divide by 50 minus T. And that's going to give me uh, DT, capital T, over 50 minus T is equal to K D small t. And from here, I can integrate both sides. On the left side, when you integrate this, if this were t minus 50, I would just get the natural log of t minus 50. Because I have that negative in front, I'm going to get 
a negative natural log of 50 minus t. On the right side, integrating with respect to t, uh, that k is just a constant. You get kt plus c. From here, I'm going to multiply through by the negative so that I get natural log of 50 minus t is equal to negative kt minus c. And if I raise both sides of the equation to the exponential, then on the left side, the e and the natural log will cancel out. On the right side, let me not change that yet. On the right side, I'm going to get e to the negative kt times e to the negative c. And that's going to give me, I'll bring this up here, it's going to give me 50 minus t is equal to e to the negative kt times e to the negative c. And then I can bring the 50 over so that I get minus t is equal to e to the negative kt times e to the negative c minus 50. And, distrib and then multiplying through by the negative to get rid of this negative in front of the t gives me e equal, uh, t equals the opposite of e to the negative kt times e to the negative c plus 50. Okay, here I have two unknowns. I have c and I have k. I can solve for those because I have uh, two conditions. I have this initial condition, t of 0 equals 400. And then I also have this condition, t of 15 is equal to 200. When I use t of 0 equals 400, I'm going to get e to the 0 power, t is 0, times e to the negative c plus 50, subtract 50 from both sides, and I get 350 is equal to e to the negative c. e to the 0 power is 1. So that gives me the equation t of t equals e to the negative c is 350. It's going to give me negative 350 e to the negative kt minus 50. And now if I use the fact that t of 15 equals 200, I'll be able to solve for k. t of 15 equals 200. There I'm going to replace the t with 15. I get negative Actually, that's not negative. That's just 350. No, it is negative 350. This should be plus 50 here, plus 50. And let me see. I think I made another mistake up here. Let me change my color. red because I made a mistake. Uh, t of 0 is 400. That's my initial condition. And I should have a negative right here. Subtract 50 from both sides. You get 350 equals negative e to the negative c. So if I take this negative along with the e to the negative c, that should be 350, and so this 350 should be positive. That should be positive 350. And so when I s 
uh, substitute in 15, I'm, this is going to be a positive 350. e to the negative k times 15 plus 50. I'm going to subtract 50 from both sides. So that gives me 150 is equal to 350 e to the negative 15 k divide by 350 to isolate that exponential see the zeros will cancel I can reduce by 5 to get 3 sevenths I get 3 sevenths is equal to e to the negative 15 k and if I rewrite this e to the negative 15 k, I'm going to rewrite it as e to the k raised to the negative 15th power. And to undo that negative 15th power, I'm going to raise both sides of the equation. to the uh, to the negative 1 over 15th power and I'm going to bring that all the way up here so I get 3 sevenths to the negative 1 over 15th power is equal to e to the k. And I can substitute that in for my e to the k in this equation that I have. I've got t of t equals 350. This is e to the k raised to the negative t power e to the k is 3 sevenths raised to the negative 1 15th and then that's raised to the negative t power plus 50 When you simplify these exponents, you'll multiply them together to get t over 15. So my equation is t of t equals 350 times 3 sevenths raised to the t over 15 power plus 50. That's the uh, first part of our solution. That's the temperature of the cake. The temperature of the cake as a function of time. Okay, now how long will it take for the cake to cool to 100 degrees? When the cake cools to 100 degrees, the uh, value of capital T is going to be 100. So we want to substitute 100 in on the left side of the equation and solve this equation. Solve for t. Want to subtract 50 from both sides. So I get 50 is equal to 350 times 3 sevenths raised to the t over 15 power. You want to divide by 350.
here I can cancel the zeros and reduce by 5 to get 1 7th is equal to 3 7 raised to the t over 15 power. Uh, we can take the natural log of both sides. When you take the natural log, that will allow you to bring this exponent down to the front. So that you can solve for t by dividing by, well, by multiplying by 15 and dividing by natural log of 3 7 so I'm going to get t equals 15, that's multiplying by the 15, natural log of 1 7th divided by natural log of 3 7 Now if I have my calculator here, I could work that out. I'm going to... Uh, I'll go type that into my calculator in, in just a minute and get the answer uh, in terms of minutes. Okay, here I, I pull up my TI-83 virtual calculator. This is a free calculator that operates on a Windows operating system. If you want a copy of it, just let me know and I can, I can send it to you. Uh, it, it works just like a regular TI-83 calculator. If you want to type in or evaluate 15 natural log of 1 7th divided by natural log of 3 7th, you could just type it in. 15 natural log of 1 7th divided by natural log, whoops, I didn't need that parenthesis of three-sevenths and you get about 34.45 minutes. I need to pull up my uh, pen. Thirty-four point four five minutes, and that's the answer to my second part.